Hello, hello, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another Sky Factory 2 Beta. That's right. Sky Factory 2 Beta. Fun times. I love my sky blocks. As you can tell, I'm still a little bit under the weather. Good times. But at least I've had coffee this time. Holy cow, do I love my caffeine. Uh, as you can see, I grinded up some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gravel, and we got a few wonderful blocks, including a diamond, hype, lapis, always useful. Uh, we got some al aluminum, or aluminum, depending on where you're from. What, what are you doing, dancing? Hmm? Are you dancing? 30 hit points. What? Get lost. Oh, are those those crack zombies? Hmm, that could be dangerous. Anyways, uh, <laughs> whatever, no big deal. You know, we'll just be over here. Don't bug us. You know, all that stuff. So we last episode we got the cobble gen going. Uh, the lava worked out nicely. The cobble gen is working fantastically. Oh, and the coal. I almost forgot. And the flint. Yes. The flint is real. We can repair. Oh, you can't do that? What the heck? What the heck, man? We gotta go into the tool station with the flint? What a joke. But we can finally repair our first hatchet. And the other thing that we can do is we can make ourselves a pickaxe. That's right, folks. It is time for a pickaxe. Just get a nice little wood binding here. Let's get our first pickaxe, our terrible pickaxe, first and worst. Excellent. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. So now I can come over here to my beautiful thing, and we can level this guy up, right? So, I mean, he's clumsy. He's going to take his sweet arse time, all that kind of stuff, and we can slowly get this going. Oh, my. That's fast. Oh yeah, I like it. Now, one of the things about using a pickaxe that's always a little bit interesting to me anyways is that with a pickaxe, you don't get as much, right? Because of the hammer from Ex Nihilo, it usually hammers it and returns it to your inventory, so you don't lose any. It's like 100%, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, whereas a pickaxe... I mean, those of you that know general Minecraft, well, what does it do? It launches the items in a general area, general direction, and as you can see, I'm losing quite a bit into the lava. So it's not quite as efficient as the hammer would be in regards to the generator. But because we have the pickaxe, we can remove the crucible, and I wanted to place the crucible on top of this lava here. So we can do this like that. Now what this is going to do is you're going to see we have twice the melting speed so we can get more lava again quick and it's a nice compact way to basically secure your crucible and continually use that lava to its fullest potential. Now still lava is a two melting speed I believe flowing lava is basically the same as a torch, so it's not really worth it. Uh, you're better off melting the extra four cobble. But holy cow, look at this. We have cobble for days. We are officially in the Stone Age now, guys. So let's take a look at our book. I filled in a couple checks. So we haven't sifted sand and dust yet in a sieve. Um, I've only done gravel, so I didn't check that, but the wood age is basically done. Uh, we got, you know, some tinker's tools, we got some clay, we got a crucible, we got all that stuff, cobble gin. We are in the stone age, and I've already made a terrible dark room away from my base, and there's a few other things that we can definitely make here as we go along, but that's about it for now. I don't really have too much. I think that at this point in time, I'm going to be doing grindy stuff, right? So we're basically going to be getting a whole bunch of gravel. We're going to be getting a whole bunch of stone. 
we're going to be uh, getting some iron right away. Actually, we need to expand. Oh, dear. Careful. I put a hole there. It goes down to the void. Uh, we actually have to be careful as well. We need to expand on our tree farm. All that kind of stuff. And I think now is the perfect time for me to start doing those things. Let me decide which one I want to do first. Uh, because obviously we need a whole bunch of dirt. It's time to start expanding and growing on things. We got some cobble. That's good. That means we don't have to waste our wood nearly as much. But we do need some more food. We need some farms up and running. We need all those types of things. So, and to get dirt, still the only way that we have available to us is with the oak barrels. Excellent. Okay. So we need some more. We need more dirt. Well, huh, what do we want to do? We have all this cobble now. Let's make ourselves a quick couple stone hammers. Yeah. We'll do a couple stone hammers. And I'm going to run over and I'm going to grind a whole bunch of gravel. Uh, you know what? Let's do even more. So I'm going to be basically full of gravel here, I think. And then we'll come back. Uh, let's store some of this stuff. I, I'm lacking storage space. It's okay, guys. It's okay. It's all right. We'll put that away. You know what? We have a decent amount of melons, and we'll throw the cobble in there for now as well. So we are good to go for gravel. So I'm going to grind away. I'm going to get a whole bunch of gravel, and we're going to jump into something that's going to help us out a ton. Alrighty, everybody, I am back and ready to go. So I kind of made a little mistake. I don't know if any of you guys noticed it, but I've been kind of grinding away. I got a little chest here of things ready to go, but I don't have a bucket. I just wasted it. And I only have two more clay. So I have no water in any barrels, and I don't have a way to get it there. So... I mean, there is a solution to this, all right? Let's get a little bit of iron going. Uh, we can get this into gravel, like so. We can hammer this then to get crushed iron. Crushed iron turns into iron sand. You crush it down again into pulverized iron, right? And from that, you can actually make iron from the iron ore dust okay now the problem is i don't quite have enough iron so i'm going to sieve up some uh gravel here yeah he so we'll sieve up a little bit of gravel and we'll just talk for a second it hopefully won't take very long god please don't take very long please don't <laughs> but yeah things are going well i've had a lot of time to play here the last couple days so i feel like we're making a little bit better progress uh which is wonderful uh the dire wolf series i got a big plan and it's starting to come together uh for the base and everything so we might have to uh yeah that might be a it might have to go on hiatus for a day or two we'll see uh i, I know a lot of you guys don't like watching people build in modded for some odd reason i don't understand it but it's the case all right we got a little bit more iron that's good let's just finish this guy up there we go another piece of flint all right so uh that should be enough now this is a little bit of a waste okay and the reason i say this is because we have no way to double this right uh, so, in that regards, it's a little bit of a wasted resource, uh, just cooking it like so. Now, we're going to solve and fix that problem here shortly, but it is a bit of a problem. Oh, God. The other problem that I have is storage space. Oh, my God. Lack thereof. Um, as we're going here, it's going to get worse and worse as well. So we're just going to get ourselves a regular iron bucket. We're going to get that going. 
Uh, let's put in those. We're getting some more Lerva cooking up. That Lerva, so good. There we go, our first iron bucket. Excellent. So now we can, you know, I can fill up the barrels, all that kind of stuff. Like so. And we can place in things like dust. Get our clay going. Get our clay on, guys. Now, I don't know if I exactly need this much. Uh, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? Uh, so let's get some clay. And for those of you that don't know what we're doing, where have you been? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we are going to be getting ourselves a Tinker's Smeltery. There we go. I want to get at least a decent amount. I prefer a decent sized smeltery. Um, I do still prefer the 3x3 three three style of the smeltery. You can make them much larger now. Um, as you guys probably saw in my Dire Wolf video even. Um, so I could make a small one just for things to get going. But you know what? I have the resources. We can easily get the clay. So we're going to do it. Why not? Um, that and, again, well, why do it twice, right? So, uh, get a little bit of a smeltery going here. Get a whole bunch of clay. All that good stuff. Uh, let's see, how much is that? That's 24. Okay. Uh, let's combine some of this. Like so. Is it a special way? I can't remember. It's in this, right? And it's like this... And this, and this. Ah, oh, dang it. Why do I forget that? I am grout. I am grout. Ah, it's like that. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And clay. I am grout. Excellent. Two whole stacks of grout. We're going to start cooking that up. I need our charcoal, because we're going to need a little bit more in this little furnace. Uh, we could probably even... Uh, let's see, I have some more half slabs. Let's see, we can make another slab furnace here. Good. Just to even space out and spread out the love of the cooking. Alright, I am grout is cooking up. I'll be back when I have this all said and done. We have a bit of lava cooking up. Uh, it should be enough for two buckets worth, if I'm not mistaken. And from there, we can get things going. Alrighty, so we're back here. I got quite a bit of seared brick going. That's awesome. Uh, so, a couple of things that we need for the smeltery. We need a controller, obviously. Uh, I believe it's the same, but with a piece of glass. Yes, that is the tank. Beautiful. All right. We need at least one drain. You know what? I'm going to make two drains and two faucets. Excellent. Okay. The rest here, we can kind of get going with seared bricks. Uh, we need more than that. A lot more than that. Okay. All right. Let's start with that. And we'll get it at least going somewhat. Uh, let's get a few more melons. Our food problem is pretty much gone now. So I'm thinking right over here might be a nice place to get our smeltery up and running. Let's get a little bit of wood. Uh, I probably should be switching to cobblestone about now. But, eh, it's okay. It's okay. This is going to be a temporary home anyways, so... All right, that looks pretty solid. Uh, let's go out this way a little bit more. Uh, we are going to plan to build a little bit somewhere else as time goes on. So this is definitely more of a temporary home, temporary setup. Okay, so let's remove out a little 3x3 three three section. Uh, or do I want to? Let's see, if I do that, this would go here. Next level would be at eye level. Hmm. Yeah, we could probably do that. You know what? Let's do that instead. Let's keep it. Let's keep this platform. And let's place down our 3x3, three three, like so. 
Yeah, yeah, this is looking good. I like it. All right, in the middle here, we're going to have our brains of the operation, which is the controller. On this side, we're going to have a seared tank. Uh, you know what? I'm debating get, building another seared tank. Yeah, a little bit more lava storage. I think that'll be good. And it'll make it look all nice and balanced. Okay, on the other sides here, we're going to have a drain and a drain facing like so. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the rest is going to be in seared bricks. Uh, the faucets, I guess, we'll put those down as well, like so. And then some seared bricks along the rest of the way. Alright. Oh good, I can harvest it. I was a little concerned. Okay, excellent. Alright, we have a smeltery. Look at that, the fire's raging. We're almost ready to go. We need a little bit of lava. What? What? There's lava? It says that there's a thousand blocks. Rage. Raging on the lava. Oh, there it is. Silly guy. Alright. So we got some lava. We got some fuel, all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. No big deal. And we have ourselves nine slots. Now that's not a ton, right? Like, we're talking pretty small here still. Uh, but... It is very good. So we have some iron. So let's get some iron going. And I'll demonstrate this whole process to you. So we get the iron down. We hammer it. It turns into crushed iron. So you get an opportunity to kind of double up on that a little bit. Uh, now we have iron ore sand. Which just so happened to work out to be in the same amount. And we get the iron ore powder. And we make that, and we ended up with seven iron ore dust. Very nice, very nice. And this guy here is actually going to double that for us. Now, one of the problems that we have with this, with this smeltery is, well, we need a couple more things. First thing that we need, we need a basin. And we need a casting table. Beautiful. All right, basin. We'll put the basin on that side. We'll put the casting table on this side, underneath the faucets. Okay. Now, I want to wait, if I can, for two more iron. Because, hmm, do I have to? Let's see. I don't have any gold, really. I have some aluminum, but do I have enough copper? I do have some copper. Okay, let's quickly look at one thing here. Uh, we, aluminum brass is three aluminum, one copper. Okay, we're going to make that. We're going to make that first. So, let's get our one copper. Let's get our three aluminum. Uh, same way, just by, you know, no different. Doesn't matter what ore it is. Okay, boom. I guess I needed three of these, didn't I? That doesn't seem very smart. Okay, that's one. Uh, let's get at least that many. We'll get the copper set up. And... Did I... I only grabbed two? Uh, eight. That's what we need. Okay, good. Get this going. Excellent. Alright. We're getting some doubling of al aluminium or aluminum. Bingo, and that should give us the additional two that we require. Okay, good, good, good. So, we're going to first make the aluminum brass. So, three aluminum with one copper. This is going to actually give us a decent amount of aluminum, or uh, aluminum brass. So, that's good. We can start making a few different casts, all right? Now, for casts, we can definitely just go with, you know what, we have extra flint, don't we? Yeah, we do right now. We have some extra flint, so we're going to go with flint. So, one of the first casts that you want 
is definitely all the basics, right? Um, that might require stone. Stone. Let's do the axe head in flint. Let's do a shovel head in flint. Uh, let's do the sword. Oh, no, that's right. You can't do sword in flint either. Okay. So not bad. We got some done anyways. Let's see how we're doing. Aluminum brass. Beautiful. So the first and most important cast that I want to get, and thank God we got that electrical steel. It's actually going to save us a little bit. And we are going to... What? Did I mess that up? I, apparently I screwed that up, guys. I thought you could still do this. No? Did they fix that? Huh. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, no. It just doesn't work with electrical steel. Okay. Blank cast hype, guys. Okay, so it doesn't work with the electrical steel. That is very intriguing. So I guess we do need one piece of iron just to get this thing kind of jump-started. All right, that's not that big of a deal. We'll get this done up. Get our one piece of iron. I was, I'm was, i surprised. I mean, it's considered an ingot, right? Anyways, there we go. We'll get our first cast, the ingot cast. Did it use up the iron? Um, what? Did it use up the iron? Okay. That's interesting. Alright, let's make the flint head. This is new to me. I didn't know that it used up the, uh... Oh, because it was flint? I don't know. It's fine. I don't need them anyways, so... We'll just use them up. We'll get these casts done. That's beautiful. Uh, we do need to get the tool rod the binding and all that done as well so a little bit of stone should be able to handle that quite nicely uh, so tool rod in stone um, we can do the binding in stone can only be used in the smelting process but that's okay and the wide guard in stone and last but not least the sword pattern in stone Excellent. Okay. Good, good. Let's get our last few here. So we'll put down the sword blade. We can start getting our tinker's tools fired up here. Uh, the stone rod. How many more do we have? A couple. Good. Okay, we can do the wide guard, which will be uh, allow us to actually make a weapon that's better than a wooden sword. And last but not least, the last binding. Okay. So we got a few of our casts. You can see by holding shift over them, all the different stuff you can do with it and this and that. Uh, but one of the big things is now we can smelt up our iron ore. Because we have the ingot cast right here, we can, ca we can draw out things into an ingot form, which is super nice. Very much required. Get the melons. Good. Good, good. I haven't really been farming any dirt here the last little bit. Um, but I don't think that should be too much of a problem. We have a decent amount of saplings and melons too. I believe it's something like 20, 20 some odd melons for one piece of dirt. Probably not the most advisable thing. But what I'm about to do is definitely advisable. Alright, so in there we have 12 ingots, so we're going to put one into the casting basin, and then we're going to start pouring them into the ingot cast as well. Good. And it was 12, right? So that should give me a couple there. Let's get our iron. The good thing about the basin is it gives you a whole block just with a simple click. It's quite nice. Alright, and excellent, 12 iron. Beautiful. So we effectively doubled our iron, which is beautiful. And what I'm going to get is shears. Now shears are kind of the next level up um, of what you want to get for the crook. Okay. Uh, the reason being, they're fast, uh, they're very efficient, 
And leaves. Not only do you get leaves, but you get the saplings as well from the trees, uh, which is super awesome. Um, and leaves can be processed in a barrel as well. Like, look at that. So, not only am I getting the saplings, which can be processed in a barrel, but I'm also getting leaves, which can be processed in the oak barrels as well. So, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is all that's required for leaves to get a piece of dirt. How sweet is that? A quick little shearer job on a couple trees, and you should have quite a bit of dirt. So, I'm going to do this. We're going to finish up shearing these trees pretty much all the way. Give me all them leaves. And as you can see, we still got 10 saplings back as well. 12. And a few more here still yet to pick up. And we're composting some dirt. But look at all the leaves we got from that one little harvest. Right? Definitely worth. I definitely recommend picking up shears uh, basically as soon as you possibly can. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. That's right. I'm going to shear all y'all. <laughs> I am the shear master. I am the master of the shears. All right. There we go. Beautiful. So, yeah, very nice stuff. Uh, how much do we have? Not too, too much left on the axe to get to the, a level up. So let's just cut these trees down. Bingo, bingo. So first bit of iron, I would definitely recommend bucket and shears. Uh, it's going to help you a ton down the road. And it's going to help basically help you progress into, in what is my opinion, the Iron Age. Alright. And it's also going to help you get a ton of dirt for your farms and all that kind of stuff. So, highly, highly recommended. And you get more than enough saplings to replenish your farm. Oh yeah. Look at us go, guys. Iron for days. For now, anyways. I'm sure we will get into a little bit of an iron shortage in no time. All right, let's get this going. They also last a decent amount of time, shears. Uh, compared to a crook, I think I was using three crooks for these four trees, whereas one set of shears lasted the whole distance, and you gained so much more from that. So definitely recommended to do that. I'm going to do some sifting and whatnot, try to get some more resources, uh, we have a whole bunch of gravel that we need to sift through, and I'll be back with you guys shortly. Alrighty, folks, so we are back, and I wanted to get this on camera. It's going to be our first skill upgrade here. We got 173 of 175. Alright, so one, really, and two. What did we get? Really? We just got auto smelt. Really? I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, yeah. That kind of sucks. Well, I guess we can get some smooth stone. Right? I guess this is a good way to get some smooth stone. We'll probably need a general pick again, though, because... Yeah, we need cobble. Ah, plus one mining level. We are up to copper. Nice. We are comfortable with our pick now. Um, yeah, so that's not the best modifier. Um, probably... Oh, God. That just went all the way down there. Uh, probably not all that great. Okay, anyways, let's carry on. Uh, I've been looking up a couple different things, but... I think I've kind of decided what we want to get going. And I was taking a look at the book here. Uh, let's open it up. And one of the things that it says to do is automate your cobble. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Maybe this auto smelt won't be such a bad idea. So let's automate our cobblestone. That's right, our cobble gen. 
So for this, we need 11 redstone. So I grinded up a whole bunch of redstone off camera for you guys so that you didn't need to, uh, well, be bored by that. Uh, so we need a couple things. We need a, a standard pipe. I said a standard pipe. Uh, uh, that'll work. Okay, so stone slabs, redstone, and some glass. Oh, dear. Another piece of redstone? Dang. Well, hey, at least we got all that, uh, that beautiful smooth stone now, right? Let me grab that here. That was not intentional, I can tell you that much. All right, that with that, a piece of redstone and some glass. Gives us the transfer pipes, beautiful. Uh, that and a chest, okay. Pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy. Time to start a little bit of automation here, guys. I am very excited. Are you? I know I am. All right. Transfer node items. Beautiful. Now, the other thing that we need to make this work is we need the world interaction upgrade. Now, for this, we need lots of stuff. That's seven iron. Well, just so happens we have enough. All right. Good. And four lapis, which we have as well. Beautiful. Okay, we need a couple sticks here, and we should have this all put together. Do that with that. Excellent. You can't use it, but it can be used for crafting. And the lapis, like so, gives us the world interaction upgrade. Okay, so basically I placed down this node. Uh, uh, I don't want that connected. Uh, stick, 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 uh, uh oh, uh, dang, it's okay, it's okay guys, it's okay, but basically you click into here, and you give it the world interaction upgrade, and what it's doing, is it's automatically mining that cobblestone, sweet, right, now it doesn't really have a place for it to send it, because it can't actually send it into the side of a crucible, I believe you can only pipe in from the top, of the crucibles. So essentially what I could do is I can come across like this and it should automatically be filling up with some cobble as it goes. Yes, see, look at that. These should now automatically be filled up whenever I need them. But I still want this to keep mining. So for that, we need some more wood. Let's get some wood. Let's get a half slab. It is time for our first barrel. That's right, folks. It is time for our first Jabba barrel. Beautiful. Nailed it. Excellent. This guy here is going to go right there. He is going to have cobblestone. Excellent. We'll lock that. So basically, any cobblestone that this is mining is going to go into the barrel. Oh, God. Is there a way that I can shrink all that? Oh, my God. Um, and into here. So we should have... Basically, infinite lava to fill up our smeltery. You know, this music. Oh, I forgot how much I love the Minecraft music. It is so good. So, we should have all the cobblestone going in there, like so. And cobblestone also going into the crucibles. I think this is fabulous. This setup right now is absolutely perfect. So, there is one other thing that I really want to do before we end this episode, and we are basically at the end of this episode. But we're going to do something to prepare for the next one. Oh god, that's bedrockium? Really? Wow. Alright, here we are. Stone and a bowl. Stone and a bowl. Stone and a bowl. They're the exact same. Oh, that's peaceful mode only. Okay, so... It's iron in a bowl. All right. We can do that either way. Let's get some of this iron. Let's get it up and processed. 13. Nice. That's a lot of iron, guys. I am very happy to have this much iron. I actually need a new hammer. Uh, one, two. Beautiful. Let's get a new hammer going. Excellent. So when this one breaks, it will still work. 
two, one, breaks, and we get the new one going. Good. Oh, yeah, look at all that. 64 stacks, 16. Oh, that's 32 iron right there, guys. Oh, yeah, it feels good. Okay, all the iron. All the resources, guys. Absolutely wonderful stuff. So we only need about, what is it, one iron? <laughs> Better go big, right? All right, that'll give us 32. This will give us a whole bunch more. All right, so we can only put nine in at a time because we actually need to expand on the smeltery. But I'm going to do that a little bit off camera, I think. Nine is a pretty good number anyways to start out with because as you smelt it down, that should give you two full iron blocks. And it's pretty easy to just click it into the casting basin. So, that's going to be it, I think, for this episode. We're going to get the iron ready to go. And then, we're going to get ready to go on our next, or first, next, next or first project. We'll get a little bit, we'll get some more new shears and get even more dirt. That's right. It's time to go full mode. Alright, there we go. Get that going. And have a good one.